Hey guys, what's up? So, I wanted to do a different type of video. Typically, you know, my channel is based around EDC and gear and knives and stuff like that, but uh, I want to change up a little bit because I know a lot of you, y'all knife guys out there, like to do out outdoor th stuff. And uh, one of my other hobbies is fishing. I love fishing. And um, especially bass fishing. It's a lot of fun. And um, so I'm going to show you all my tackle box and show you all what's in it. And um, hope you enjoy. And if you like to fish, you should post a video of what you got in your tackle box. So um, let's go ahead and get on it. My tackle box is a, uh, it's a Plano Fishiflage. Got it from Walmart and it's working great. <laughs> it's like camo, but um, both fish and their natural habitat. Like you see the bass right there, and that's pretty cool. I like it. It's pretty sweet. Um, it's pretty big. I like it a lot. Let's go ahead and start looking inside. Front zipper, and here I keep wire cutters. A lighter, fillet knife, and a little pair of scissors that fold up just for cutting the line and stuff like that. Okay, let's see here. Over here, I got large pair of needle nose pliers and also a little crappy Sheffield multi-tool um, I mean it works for fishing it works great I mean it's got a fish scaler on it and a few screwdrivers and pliers and it works really awesome for fishing so got it in there and then right here is my, oh, my terminal tackle And in here I got, you know, just some small little, like, bluegill hooks and stuff, panfish, bullet weights, different sizes, and drop shot weights, smaller drop shot weights, bigger drop shot weights, split shots, got some egg sinkers, and barrel swivels and beads for your Carolina rigging, snap swivels. The other side, got most of my hooks that I use. And um, I use mostly, especially for Texas Reagan and whatnot, just extra wide gap hooks work the best. And um, I like red. I don't know, I just do. <laughs> These are one. Uh, one odd or two odd, I can't remember. I think one, two, four, and five is the sizes, so I have a variety of sizes. Um, I got my um, shaky head hooks and my drop shot and wacky hooks. I use these for wacky rigging as well. It's drop shotting. That's my terminal tackle. Let's look on the side here. I just got a, another extra box with some jig heads and extra hooks and stuff like that. It's nothing important. And in the side pocket, I got some bobbers and a scale and whatnot. On this side pocket, keep some. Let's see here. There we go. Keep some line. I got trialine, 20 pound trialine, and some 12 pound mono. Good stuff. Inside, we have my the main biggest pocket, obviously. Got my tackle boxes and some soft plastics in here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what soft plastics I have in, my, in the bags. Let's see, we got some culprits. We got some red shad culprits, some June bug culprits. These are just these are great, killing them. Got a lot of action, great color. Drew Bug is just, I find, is a great color in Florida. So, I'm. Got some power bait and 
Kiki the Sunrise, 7 inch power worms. Same thing, but in motor oil. These are just a bunch of miscellaneous worms that threw in a packet. Senkos and details and stuff. Just in case, you know. Got some of these french fry type deals. These are great for Wacky Rig and they have good action. Um, let's see, we got some Yum Dingers and Watermelon Candy. And... More Dingers and Green Pumpkin Chartreuse. And some of these heavyweight fat sink worm power baits. I don't know, I haven't used them. But, um, yeah. On to the main tackle. This is my worm box. As you see, I have all of them labeled, and so it just keeps them really organized and ready to go for when I need them. So I, li I like that that about it. You have to have your tackle organized there. You're just going to have a big mess when you're trying to fish. Spend less time looking for tackle and more time fishing. <laughs> Alright. So, start off with, up here I got my Zoom Trick Worms in watermelon red color. Got this more Zoom Trick Worms, bubblegum. And some pumpkin seed chartreuse tail. Got some Zoom U tails right here. The watermelon seed. Tequila Sunrise U tails from Zoom. And Red Shad U tails. And over here, just some miscellaneous, like, I think they're like Lucky Strike or something. I don't know. But you've got the watermelon seed with the little U tail there. And it's like electric blue with a, like a hot pink tail. I haven't had any luck on those though. Then over here I have some pumpkin seed finesse worms from Zoom. These are great for drop shotting. And I got some big old like nine inch or so jointed U-tail worm. These would be great for like Carolina rigging and then I have my uh, Strike King Cinco's. These are red bug chartreuse. Um, smoke and chad color. These these work great for wacky rigging. They're just as good as um, Yamamoto, just for like way cheaper. <laughs> I think Gary Yamamoto's are a ripoff, just saying. Uh, watermelon red, Senkos. That's my warm box. Alright, now onto the creature box. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Got my lizards up top. Up here. And to start off, we got the watermelon, sorry, pumpkin seed, zoom lizards. Watermelon magic. June bug. And this is like a chartreuse pepper color. Very interesting. I like it. And then second row, we got the horny toads from Zoom. Got the bullfrog color. Ormond red. White pearl. And my favorite color of these is June bug. I mean these legs just get going on top of the water, you're dragging on the water, and those, those bass just explode on this, man. Tear it up. Alright. Got some Zoom Baby Brush Hogs and uh, Watermelon Magic. And over here, got a Watermelon Red. And right here... Yeah, full size zoom brush hogs in uh, green pumpkin. And then have some topwater Stanley River frogs. This color is called Hot Feet because of the chartreuse feet. Get, 
kick it in the water. Get some great action in the water. This is just like a bullfrog color. Smoking shad color. And some other weird color. I don't even know what color that is. Alright, on to my jig and fluke box. Sorry for the zoom flukes. Um, you can always catch a fish on a fluke. I mean, they're really, they're like a go-to bait if you're having a bad day. Fish these. <laughs> this is just the regular old white pearl. This is the white ice color. I also have some, a few, three or four sluggos in here. This is the uh, Arkansas Shiner Fluke with some little like baby bass colored little ones in there with it and also got the watermelon magic and then we have my jigs don't have many of them I need to get more but um, this is a really heavy one this is like gray and black and blue got a nice rattle in there Just just a small finesse one. Another heavier black and blue rattle. That's a small swim, black and blue. Black and blue seems to work the best. Here's a bleeding style jig. And a few other like random colors and stuff. And then for trailers for my jigs, I have some crawls down here. This is a crazy leg shaker crawl from Power Bait and Pumpkin Green Fleck. Just a regular shaker crawl, Power Bait, Black Blue Fleck. Baby Pocket Crawl from Net Bait in the Alabama, Alabama Crawl Color. <clears throat> Baby Mad Pocket Crawls in Green Pumpkin Color. Alright, and lastly, we have my hard bait box. Um, just some crankbaits from Rapala, Jitterbug, There's Your Tail. Got a hula popper in there. Just some square bill crankbaits, regular middle crankbaits. Some rattle traps from Rapala. Bigger ones. And some smaller Rapalas and jerk baits. They call them. So wrap the deep runner. Black and crankbait. And you got down there you got a tiny torpedo. Swim bait. Swim shad, whatever. Let's call this a flat fat boy. Another a larger rapper jerk bait. Some small little these are small uh, spinner baits. Like they're they're pretty small, and there's some buzz baits in there too. And these are all my spinner and buzz baits, just thrown in here. <laughs> Mostly striking and a few Walmart spinner baits. And they work great. They actually do work. But here's a here's a nice striking one with the trailer hook on there. I like it. Also some buzz baits in there and a few grubs and whatnot for trailers. But um yeah. Guys, that's my that's my tackle box. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you found it boring, whatever. Um, if you liked it, and you have a tackle box, you enjoy fishing. Make make a tackle box video. That'd be great. Um, I just want to show y'all, you know, another hobby I have other than knives. But um, anyways, as all as always, thanks for watching. Y'all take it easy and stay sharp.